Hey guys, my name is Callie. I'm the makeup artist here today. I'm gonna be transforming Bella here into Candy from HBO's The Deuce. Candy is a lady of the night and um, she just has a really real and just effervescent look to her. We're gonna do kind of like a metallic blue turquoise on her lid. We're gonna put a wig on her and it's gonna be awesome. Okay guys, so the first step in the candy transformation is that we're gonna prep her skin. So I'm just spraying her face with a little bit of Evian mineral water to tone and to prime her skin. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with a hyaluronic acid based um, moisturizer. Okay, now that her skin is primed and prepped, we could go into our foundation. So right now I'm just using a cream based foundation because it's gonna give her the best coverage with the least amount of product. So now I'm gonna be going in with a bit of translucent powder, just loading a powder puff. And I'm just setting the foundation that I put on. Now I'm gonna go in with a bit of a bronzer because Candy has sort of a bronzy kind of look to her. So now I'm gonna go in with a taupe-like color um, to make uh, some under eye circles on her because Candy up all night. And you don't wanna go too intense with the color because you don't wanna make her look like she got punched in the eye. So I'm gonna go in with a primer on her lids just so it can prime and hold pigment on a lot better. So now I'm gonna jump into this silver, sparkly, kind of iridescent type of blue shade. It's almost like a periwinkle. So I'm concentrating more of the color on the lid and as I am going towards the brow up, I'm just kind of fading it off a bit. I'm releasing a little bit of pressure on the brush and just spreading it out a bit more. So now I'm tapping into a color like so. It's still in the metallic family. There's a bit of a sheen to it. So now I'm gonna go back into that periwinkle metallic color and I'm just gonna have her look up and we're gonna put that underneath her eye. So now I'm gonna go in with a sharpened new tone pencil, eye pencil, and I'm just gonna go into her lower waterline and that's gonna give the illusion of a wider eye. So as you can see, that already opened up her eye area, made her look a bit more doe-eyed. So now I'm gonna go in with a bit of a black gel liner and I'm gonna line the top of her lash line. Okay guys, so if you have an old mascara that is at the bottom of your drawer that's pretty chunky and you don't use anymore, this is probably a good time for it because Candy has like just this like over mascara look, like she looks like she's been like piggybacking days of mascara. So you want that kind of chunkiness to your lashes. So now I'm gonna go in with some lashes. I'm choosing kind of a wispy kind of look. It's like really feathery, so they're supposed to mimic natural lashes, but I kind of want to give this look a little bit more of an oomph. Candy's eyebrows are a bit muted. Um, they're, I feel like they're naturally thinner, but to match this look, I'm just gonna put a little bit of foundation through her brows to block them out just a little bit. So now with these two colors, like a taupe and a brown, I'm gonna go in and accentuate her laugh lines. So one of Candy's redeeming qualities, like in her makeup at least, is um, her lip color. She goes for more bold color lips between corals and raspberry tones and pink tones. So I'm gonna go for something in between. Okay, so I'll say that we're done with um, her makeup look. Now we're gonna move on to the wig. So now I'm just gonna be putting her hair in a French braid so that I can flatten her hair as much as I can to conceal better under a wig. Okay, Bella, now that we have your hair braided and pinned back, now I'm gonna let you get into wardrobe. What are we doing here? This is an entire look. <laughs> Wait, I, need, I feel like I need like a 360. <laughs> Yes, everything. Look at this outfit. And let's get to that wig. So this is just the first step of the wig. So I'm actually gonna go in with a pair of scissors and just give her a little bit more body dimension. 
So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of hairspray and I am just going to piece her hair out a little bit more, give her a little bit more frizziness, just give her more life. So I think we have Candy in the flesh here. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me become Candy from the Deuce.